painters always talk about fighting with the art, how the art is against them, and they have to fight to get it. It's a very rugged point of view. But if you don't want the painting to be any way in particular, your life is easier. I remember seeing that image and thinking, that's the type of freedom in, in painting I, I would like to pursue, and that's the kind of woman I want to be. There, there was a real serious consideration formally to the painting, but it almost felt haphazard and just searching or mining. More than anything, Pat's relationships to her paintings are working with them as animated beings. Um, and they have a spirit, and she's really just trying to recognize that spirit and allow it to come out. For better or worse, it's what I wanted to do since I was a little girl. It's, it's how I learn. Many people are stopped by the lack of support over many, many years. And she was strong enough in herself and in her, what her experience gave back to her that she just persevered. She could have done almost anything else at the time, but the choice then to become an artist then makes her feel as if she can do anything. And so I don't think that she feels in a sense that she has to question her own skill or question her talent or even question her abilities in the way that I think that women of her generation were often asked to do so. And so for someone like Pat, who has um, an interest in a kind of freedom of her canvas, she is outside of those norms, and yet she's also not a conceptual artist. There are different rules. So they don't, all the groups of paintings don't have the same rule. But I made a few marks of one of the paintings, painting the brush, so you see brush strokes. I very rarely do that. I could do it night and day and make it look beautiful. But I don't do that because it seems too easy. Everybody can make it look beautiful. I'm not the only one. I felt always that her concern is beyond uh, fighting uh, some sort of trajectory as a female painter uh, or a female artist. Um, her concern was always to be a great artist. When Pat is painting, the paint does not just stay on the canvas, like it is dripping down onto the floor, it is getting onto the walls. She uses the natural qualities of what paint wants to do. She puts something into action, you know, and lets the process uh, reveal itself. And, and it's still, even now that I have so much difficulty moving, I can do it. It's more than muscle memory. I can still do it. It was not just the freedom and that raw elegance. She elevated that gesture. Before I have seen pouring and splashing and violent uh, action paintings. But then there was this woman who, who did it in, in an elevating way. You know, her paintings were not pulling you down, your painting, sir, lifting you. I, I like it because it, it tells me where to go. I didn't tell the painting, the painting told me. It said, do this next. She's, yes, to this day, still, I'm so amazed by her. She's in there almost every day that I'm here. And I, you know, we run into each other, whether she's walking home or on her chair home. I and mean, it's incredible to like, that what she can do still on a scissor lift, even though somebody else is driving, she's like. <laughs> I am still in awe of the fact that she gets on top of that scissor lift and that you go to the studio and that you see her in action painting. There's almost an aggression to the way that, that Pat paints that I find um, persuasive and amazing, but also completely overwhelming. She opened her arms to so many people and has been such a, a ferocious supporter of so many people's work. She's willing to take on my questions. Um, you know, I'm an art historian, and so I ask questions sometimes that come out of my own sense of, you know, the dictates of history. And yet this is someone who has lived a history that is far more nuanced and varied um, in terms of her own art making than I can imagine. 
You have to really believe that art is something. It's not a vocation. It's, it's something you really have to do, and if you don't have to do it, you shouldn't do it.